Today we are analyzing a game from the most famous chess series called The Queen's Gambit, played between the main character Beth Harmon and Vasily Borgov. This game was the most important game as after this win, Beth Harmon became the world champion in the series. This game was originally played between Grandmasters Vasily Iwanchuk and Patrick Wolf in 1993 in BL Interzonal Tournament. But in this series, this game was changed slightly and you will find out how it was changed. Let's dive into the game. The game started with d4, d5, c4, d c4. Queen's Gambit accepted. Here, white played e4. Instead of e4, there is other variations like knight on f3, e3, g3. But e4 is played to take the center and then take the pawn on c4. E4, knight c6. Again, there's other variations like b5 to protect knight on f6, but knight c6 is the most common continuation here. Bishop e3, protecting pawn on d4. Knight f6 and knight c3. Logical move as white wants to protect pawn on e4 and then take pawn on c4. E5. E5 is a very interesting move here as black wants to start attacking in the center and same time develop the pieces from king side. e5 and d5. Here would be interesting also d takes e5, but it leads to queen d1, rook takes d1, knight on e5, and this pawn is protected by this knight, and after bishop d4 there is bishop d6, and it's slightly confusing position for white. So that's why white played d5, attacking knight on c6. Knight e7. Bishop c4, taking back the pawn and developing pieces very well. Knight g6, f3. Instead of f3, it would be also really interesting to be played bishop b5 and force black to play bishop d7 and then trade these bishops and then play either knight on e2 or f3 and just simply trade these light squared bishops. But f3 is also a good move here to protect pawn on e4. Bishop d6 and queen d2. Here already white has slightly better position as he took this center and then the idea of h4 and h5 is possible. Bishop d7 and knight g e2. White is just simply developing piece on e2, but h4 would be really interesting as h4 can't be stopped. After h5, moves like castle will let white to start properly attacking on king side. Knight g2. Good move. a6 and bishop b3. Probably idea of bishop b3 was not to let b5 with tempo. b5, a4. Well, a4 was not really necessary as white should already start attacking on king side like h4 and h5 next. a4 just leads... Uh, to move like castle, and here black is doing fine. Castle and queen e7. Even though white has slightly better position, it's still hard to start creating some attacks in this position, and it's still equal. Rook c1, knight on h5, g3. Logical move not to let knight to come on a4 square. h6. Now it's really equal position. Both sides are simply just trying to develop their pieces, and uh, slightly improve their position. Bishop c2, which was a mistake. Instead of bishop c2, it would be much better to play either a5 to close the queen side, or just play maybe queen d3, or play king on a h1, in order to then push f4 pawn. Bishop c2 and rook b8. a takes b5, a takes b5, and rook on a1. Would be very interesting to play knight one to open c file, and if necessary to play knight on f2, and just having equal position but white played rook on a1 and if black would play here before black would already get better position if knight d1 here would be bishop on h3 and if rook on f2 f5 and just simply getting good play on king side with black but black played rook on a8 which was inaccuracy bishop d3 bishop b4 and trading these rooks would be better to play rook on fc1 and if rook would take on a1, rook takes a1, and already white gets a file. And if not rook on a1 and moves like, for example, c5, d takes c5, rook on a1, 
Rook takes a1 and bishop c6 and already b5 is weak and white rook has a file so that's why white has advantage here rook trade trade and queen c2 again to play rook c1 would be very interesting as already this rook will start uh, participating in the game queen c2 bishop c5 knight d1 just protecting e3 bishop well bishop c5 will not be a great move because after queen c5 this queen is already comes into the game and uh, after king g2 queen b6 and black has pretty normal position here knight d1 bishop d6 knight f2 just moving knight to king side knight on f4 very interesting sacrifice black has to create something here otherwise after rook c1 and uh, after b5 is very weak they are gonna get very worse position knight on h4 and rook c1 would be interesting to calculate g takes f4 e takes f4 and bishop c1 and that's very interesting position even though white has extra piece it's equal evaluation is equal because black has very good counterplay knight on h4 and after king on h1 knight on f3 and already this bishop will start participating in the game and this knight is doing great and queen is about to come on h4 when evaluation is equal in this kind of position and when one of the opponents has extra piece it means that another side has counterplay so that's why knight on f4 sacrifice was interesting and that's the reason why white played rook c1 and avoided trading this knight so black played here queen g5 trying to attack on king side and black already has slightly better position king on h1 and queen on h5 logical move threatening pawn on f3 knight g1 knight knight takes d3 knight takes d3 and f5 now i would prefer position with black as all of these pieces are on king side only rook has to come on king side and this is pretty good position for black knight c5 bishop c8 rook on f1 and knight on e7 here black is already getting big advantage as white has no good play here queen d3 f takes c4 f takes c4 and queen g6 king g2 and king on h7 knight on f3 and knight g8 wants to play knight on f3 and after this would be traded knight on e4 would be hanging Knight on h4, logical move. Queen g4 and knight on f5. Knight on f6, which was a mistake. Instead of knight on f6, black should have started thinking about this rook on a8, which is doing absolutely nothing. And more like rook on a2 would be great to attack pawn on b2 and creating second weakness for white's position. Knight on f6, h3. White is using the chance. Queen g6. And here is where fictional adaptation comes in. In the original game between Vasily Wanchuk and Patrick Wolf, was played g4, which is also a good move in order to start counterattack on king side. But here Beth improved Iwanchuk's idea and played knight on e6. And this was the moment where this original game was slightly changed. And compared to original game instead of g4 was played knight on e6 which was number one move suggested by engine now this knight is doing absolutely well and for example if before bishop would take on e6 the pawn would take on e6 and this pawn would become passed pawn and if knight would move somewhere for example knight g8 ideas of queen d5 would be great for white and this queen would be really strong here but in the series black played rook on a4 b3 rook takes e4 it was played rook on e4 knight e6 bishop e6 pawn takes e6 pawn takes d6 and e7 so this game is equal but it's very tough position and it's big chance that one of those sides will make mistake d5 correct move bishop c5 protecting e7 pawn queen e8 queen f3 queen c6 and b4 making this bishop strong after b4 and protected and this pawn is very close to become queen queen e8 queen on f5 now white is winning queen e8 was mistake instead of queen e8 would be much better to be played queen g8 and queen d3 but still after rook on a1 rook on a7 etc white would eventually get big advantage queen e8 queen on f5 king on h8 queen takes f6 the amazing sacrifice the brilliant move here 
Also, queen e6 would be great, but queen on f6 is simply winning the game. G takes f6, rook on f6, and now rook on f8 is hanging. And if black would play king g7, there is rook on f8. If black would take, like white is promoting queen with check. And if any other moves like queen d7, promoting queen, and that's absolutely win. So only move queen on h8, which would give like some chances for a draw, but it's still lost. Rook on f8, king g7, e8, queen promotion, rook e2, king on f1, and black has no proper checks. Queen on h3, taking, rook on e2, queen g2, rook on f2, queen on e4, king d2, and here black resigned, and in the series, Beth Harmon became world champion. And if you have not watched this series, make sure to go and watch. It's absolutely amazing chess series, and I totally recommend. And if you liked the video, make sure to give thumbs up and subscribe my YouTube channel.